Okay, so I wanted to go over the paperwork um, and the correct name so that we can all read it. <clears throat> okay, right here. It says, I, Karen Camper, <clears throat> Clerk of the Supreme Court of Calaveras, State of California, which is a court of record, having a seal, hereby certify that by law I have the custody of said seal and all records books documents and papers of pertaining to of or pertaining to said superior court that <clears throat> the papers hereto annex are true copies of papers appertaining to said court <clears throat> and on file and of record in the office of the clerk of said court that I have compared the foregoing copies with the original minute order dated 3-16-2021 in the matter of 19-T-22272 on file in the office of the clerk of said court that the same contains a full, true, and correct transcript therefrom and the whole thereof. Witness my hand and seal of said court this 24th day of June, 2021. And then it says, I, Timothy S. Ely, Judge of the Superior Court of <clears throat> the State of California and Cali County of Calaveras, the same being a court of law and of record, do hereby certify that Karen Camper, whose genuine signature is attached to the above certificate, is and was at the time of signing the same, <clears throat> and clerk of the Superior Court, and as such, full faith and credit are due her acts, and that the above certificate and attestation are in due form of law, and made by the proper officers. Witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand affixed the seal of said court at San Andreas, California, 24th day of June. Okay. And then it says, I, Karen Camper, Clerk of the Superior Court, County of Calaveras, State of California, do hereby certify that Timothy S. Healy, whose genuine signature is attached to the, the preceding certificate, is and was at the time of signing the same, Judge of the Superior Court, State of California, for the County of Calaveras, and as such, full faith and credit are due his acts, and that the certificate and attestation are in due form of law and made by the proper officers. In witness whereof I have hereunto set my hand and affixed the seal of said court of San Andreas, California, this 24th day of June, 2021. <clears throat> of California, Gabriel Omar Jijena. And what does it say? Right here. Defendant to provide proof, providing services to persons on the reservation. And it says right here that defendant states he is an American Indian within territory. Defendant further states that he signed sentencing minute order without prejudice. Okay? That's where they first, where they finally recognized us <clears throat> in the court. Proof of community service hours has been submitted. <clears throat> this 
was my civil case. Right here. <clears throat> have reached settlement. Plaintiff is awaiting the orders. Plaintiff advised he may file a dismissal. And these documents, <clears throat> they're not cheap. <clears throat> um, I think it cost, uh, so each one of these single documents, it's $50 to get it exemplified, and then it's 50 cents per copy. So it costs well over $400 just to, <clears throat> almost 500 I think, to get all these. Satisfactions, the attached orders. Declaring that they paid the filing fees. As per the notice of accord and satisfaction. Case number 19P22272 is described in the Notice of Accord and Satisfaction. Attached are the orders. This satisfies the plaintiff's claim in this case. California Territory is an American Indian reservation under the jurisdiction of the Demon of Heihawa. This matter is concluded may be dismissed. Service. Attorney General of California. Attached is the order. It says that we're on the reservation. It was accepted contract settlement contract <clears throat> protected under the Constitution. Um, what is this? The notice of accord and satisfaction. Yeah. What matters the most is the certificates because it shows you it's my people's address, but it says Hi Gabriel Marmalik to Vienna in the office of Chief Cornerstone. Authenticate and verify this instrument. Right? And this is this was just general restraining order that was issued. Not to trespass on that allodial title. Department of the in Interior. The Kingdom of Heihawa. It's from the Secretary.
Department of the Interior, the Kingdom of Hea Hawa. What'd they say? The records you have requested would likely be maintained by the BIA. As such, we recommend that you submit this request to that agency. <laughs> Told me the answer was there requesting a certified copy of the Secretary's disapproval of the Kingdom of Hea Hawa's Constitution. Certified mail on the state. You have 45 days to approve or disapprove for the Constitution's approval is considered as given according to the statute. Submitted it. Told them I am being redirected to your agency by the secretary. I am requesting a certified copy. What did they tell me? We are writing to respond to your request. After a thorough search of our files, it has been determined that the Assistant Secretary of Indian Affairs, FOIA Office, has no records responsive to your request. There's no disapproval. Approval is as given. There's a reason why I asked for it that way. I asked for a certified copy of the disapproval. It's a response. And then I asked for it to be forwarded to the Office of Federal Acknowledgement. Okay? But they sent me a for formal letter, certified mail. Official business. And like I was trying to show you yesterday. When you hold it up to the light, it's got watermark seals. Signed by the director. See that? Watermark seal. When you hold it up to the light, that's how you know it's authentic. What'd they say? We are formally advising you that the FOIA office or the uh, Office of Federal Acknowledgement searched within its administrative correspondence and petition files and found no records responsive to your request. That tells me there's no, dis there's no disapproval. It's a second witness. Was it taking law? Two witnesses. Okay. And so we brought all this paperwork. Well, it's because written in the contract. I guess I should show you that. Because when the state abdicated, it changed the rules. And what does it say? Okay, it was number four. Acceptance will be final upon deposits of a community service, certificates of community service, which will credit, adjust, and set off plaintiffs' accounts and transfer loyal title of California territory to the respondent and His Excellency President Donald J. Trump, resuming his rightful office of President of the United States, will adjust and set off the respondent's accounts including any uh, supplemental charges or excluding any supplemental charges, excuse me, uh, notice of acceptance, acceptance, statement of accounts, and case bond shall be deposited with the certificates. I misspelled it, but you know what it says. It says all assessed for value administrative fees are accepted and, and approved to be discharged from the adjustments and set offs. And this concludes the, no, the accord and satisfaction. And then I, I basically restated things that we accepted this offer. Uh, I gave them a statement of the accounts. Right? For each case. Because I had a federal case where I sued for uh, President Trump to uh, be president. 
They try to say it's fictitious and delusional, but we know that that is a void judgment because only an act of Congress at this point can terminate a tribe. <clears throat> Okay, from the Department of Justice. Let me see if I can try to block out the address, but it's to me. And the Kingdom of Hawa. What does that say? Donald J. Trump. Brief for the executive branch. Respondents in opposition. I was served. What does it say? It is hereby certified that all parties required to be served have been served with copies of the brief for the executive branch. Respondents in opposition via Email and first class mail post is prepaid. Okay. Number two on the list. In the kingdom of Hawaii. Right? 